How's it going everybody, my name is Belitis and welcome to another video on the Broken Beta server. So we are starting off right in the soon to be spawn town and I have been, ooh, that's a bit spooky, we'll just ignore that. So I have been clearing things out as you can see so that people can start building shops or buildings or whatever they want. Uh, but I am yet to actually talk to people about how we are going to actually set this up and make it a functional town. Whether or not it's going to have any rules, whether or not there's going to be some people to actually look after the entire thing, and I think there will be. I think that one of the big things in this video is I am really wanting to set up a council or a ministry or a charity or whatever it's going to be and it's going to have a big building and it's going to look amazing. It might have a little bit of like a threatening aura to it or something because there's nothing wrong with a tiny little bit of threatening in your build, so <laughs> who knows? The little center building that I've built, well it's not little, it's actually quite big, but I have finished it except I am yet to get all of the roses or the other side so I think that that's what I should do now I have looked at all of this land and I haven't found any of those roses so yeah I had to go all the way over that way sort of past where the manor is to actually find any so I'm going to go this way and try and find some I see some I see some beautiful all right that is 10 which probably isn't enough i probably should have checked oh there's 11 okay i probably should have checked to see how many i actually need for that little bit but for some reason i didn't think about that so i'm just going to maybe get 20 and hope that's enough and hopefully it's not something stupid like 21 because it would be really annoying to have to go out on another big adventure just for one rose so yeah here's to hoping that isn't the case more roses and also a village that i already raided or raided as much as you can in a village which is basically useless see i'm right clicking him and is doing absolutely nothing and also the blacksmiths don't even have a chest okay so i ended up getting 49 which is definitely significantly more than enough but that means that if we ever need some in the future we've got them and that there is this done. Look at it in all its glory. Wonderful, beautiful, stunning. Okay, so I have done a good bunch more with the spawn town. Look at how flat this is. Isn't this wonderful? So I do have to say I did sort of cheat here. If we go all the way over here, you will see what I mean by cheating. So as you can see, I have built it out a little bit over here. I sort of see as cheating because it's so much easier to just spread out more grass over this way than it is to actually break a bunch of hills. Like all of this land took probably about a quarter as long as even taking, uh, taking back a tiny bit of this hill. So yeah, that, that's where I'm at at the moment. And over here, you can see that I have started to actually figure out what the spawn town is going to be and how it's going to work. And this isn't finished yet. There's still plenty of room for more signs and stuff like that. I'm just going to read what the signs say so that you all, all know what I've been doing. So unless the land is marked, you are able to take it. It's a sort of first in first serve thing. All buildings have to be at least 10 by 10 blocks big. And the reason why I did this was so that it's not just filled with a bunch of tiny little buildings because that's just a bit annoying if it is all tiny little buildings, especially because I have dug out a big bunch of land. So I am hoping for the buildings to be quite big. And the last one says, make your builds as big as you want because the bigger, the better. And I, I am hoping that people build big. So just to show you how big a 10 by 10 block space is, this is how big it is. So it isn't massive. It is completely doable. It would be a perfect size for a little shop. So this is possible. So I have now come up with a plan on what I am going to build for the council building in the center of town. It's a big building, but I will try and start that in this episode. And I was also talking about the idea of a spawn town council with low gangster and he's quite interested in joining also but not really for the same reasons as me 
because I'm wanting to do it to make life easier for people, but by the sounds of it, he's wanting authority to be able to make life hell for people. But you know what? We need some mischief, so... <laughs> The issue is, it's going to use a lot of resources, and to get all of those resources is going to take a really long time. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try my very best to get some Silk Touch. I've got these bookshelves, and also this enchantment table already made, and I'm going to build a wee enchanter just down here for myself. I have now built my enchanting room, and I think that it looks kind of spooky and kind of ominous. It almost looks like I'm going to try and get Herobrine onto the server. I made it mostly out of stone bricks, but I did add in a few bits of cobblestone into the mix just to make it so that it's not just one texture, and I think it worked pretty well. I added in these redstone torches because I thought it adds a little bit of lighting, probably not enough to keep it safe in here, but ah oh well. And then, after I made this, I realized something. You cannot enchant books yet. So I'm going to just have to pray that I get enough pickaxes with Silk Touch. And that, all that gave me was efficiency one. I think I've wasted enough iron for today. I thought I would record this, but I was off camera mining and I fell down into this little water bit right here. And if you go over here, well, first of all, there's diamonds, which is pretty fun, but look at this. How unusual is this? I just thought I'd show you that. So I felt like while we are building the big building, we need a small council building just just as like a temporary thing. So I built this stupid thing and it is purposefully stupid and I will explain the reason why I just made it this ridiculous tiny little thing right now, but with Low Gangster. Wow. This area is looking very nice. Thank you. So over here is where I'm going to be building the beautiful big building. As you can see, the land was claimed by me, and it won't actually be this big. I tried to build a building this big, but it would take ages, and the build limit is not big enough for it to actually... Yeah. It, I, I needed something a bit smaller, so it will be around 12 by 12 blocks, and then all the way up. So it's going to be tall and slim. Yeah. I realized the, the build height when I was working on the lighthouse earlier. I was thinking, hmm, I wonder how tall this is actually going to be. <laughs> yeah. And then, I, and then I peel it up and stood back and went, okay, that's a lot taller than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> <laughs> My house on top of the, on top of Magic Mountain is only about 10 blocks under the build limit. I mean, it's not as tall as modern Minecraft these days, but... For early days, it's still pretty tall. All right, so I thought that while I am building the big building, we needed something, a temporary thing, and I thought what would be kind of funny is to make it a stupid, tiny little building that breaks the rules, because the rules are for the- uh, the rules are for ye, not for me, right? And I thought that I'll call us the Council of Spawn, because I thought that sounded kind of cool. Perfect. I love <laughs> the name. This is awesome. So if you and come in here- as well is hideously amazing. <laughs> if you come in here, it's far too tiny to do anything. I'll actually let you come in. There's, there's so, a lot of room in here. <laughs> oh gosh, and up I there, can't even fit up here. <laughs> yeah, up there is the tiny little office, and down here is supposed oh, to glitched. be. Oh god. Hmm? Oh, I'm stuck. I'm <laughs> oh yeah, oh, I no. had that issue. So isn't it wonderful? Yes, you're not claustrophobic at all. Tiny, Perfect. tiny, and <laughs> stupid. That's what I thought we needed. I think it's amazing. I think it's everything. And more. So much room for activity. Well, that that's all that I need to show you, is my tiny little stupid, really ridiculously thin building. Yes, I love it. I love it a lot. Thank you. What an evil man he is, but he agrees with my dreams, and that makes him a wonderful person to be around. So now... Ooh, wrong one. There we go. So now, what we are going to do, or at least what I am going to do, and you are going to watch, is I am going to build the foundation, and before I do that, I do need to get a good bunch of glass. So I'll just be going over that way to the desert over there and getting a bunch of that. And I won't, I won't record it because that's boring. So the next cut, there will be the foundations of the bottom floor here. So you will actually be able to see my dreams and what I'm actually going to be doing. So I've built the frame. And that's the windows, floors, and doors done, so now all I need to do is the details, and for that I need to go into the nether, so I will be building a portal. 
Beautiful. I'm gonna put all of my stuff away first, though. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, well, this must be linked to someone else's portal. Now that's just rude. I was minding my own business, not even harming you one bit. Well, that's three stacks, which should be enough for now. Oh, well, I'm at Kaz's house. I just realized I cannot make nether brick yet, which means that if I want the nether brick that I'm wanting, I have to go and find a fortress, and I don't think that I'm going to do that yet, so... <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna have to suffer. I've changed my mind, I'm going on an adventure. I'm sorry for getting sidetracked, everybody. Oh! That didn't take very long. It's just over there. Um... What is going on here? This is not much of a fortress. So what I'm needing is the fences. So I am really hoping that I can make fences out of this stuff. If not, then I'm going to have an awful time. Maybe before I continue going, I should probably check that. So back to the overworld I go. Is there some way of making them? Yes! Look at that! Okay, that is beautiful. <laughs> In fact, that's probably all I need. But I'm going to go and get a little bit more just in case. So now that I've got my fences, I can finally add the finishing touches. And just like that, the ground floor is complete, and isn't it beautiful? I'm very proud of it. I hope you're also proud of it. Just imagine another 10 or so floors of this, and then a nice roof on top, and the roof on top is also made out of nether bricks, so this here will get tied in to the whole building, so it will look wonderful once it's finished. And yeah, I, I think it looks nice. If we go inside, you can see that the floor is made out of the smooth stone. And I think that's just quite a nice touch. The issue is this here uses a lot of blocks because for every single slab, every single slab is a whole block. So this is double the amount of blocks if I was to just add a normal stone. Yeah, I think it looks nice. I think it's definitely worth it because I like I like this pattern, I think it's quite beautiful, so now all I need to do is start building more floors, and yeah, then I, th I, I guess that's probably what I should do now. Holy shit, a second story. So I have now added in four more layers, and a frame, and doesn't it look stunning? Of course, there will still be quite a few more layers, um, I think that the 10 more layers that I said that there will be is a bit of an overstatement because we can't build much higher than the clouds or sort of in the middle of the clouds is sort of where it is so I think that the frame really turns it from just sort of this plain old building not plain sorry almost the opposite it's too busy it feels far too busy but then over here the frame just really pulls it all together and I think it looks nice I think it looks lovely. So I think that's all that I will be doing on the council building just for today. But there's a few things over at Magic Mountain that I want to show you that I've been doing. And it might be dark when I actually show you, but oh well, it adds ambience. So first of all, I made this wonderful bridge over here. And it makes life so much easier going from home all the way over into the spawn town. And I think that it looks quite nice. Carly thinks it looks quite nice. I told her that if if it sort of obstructs her view or whatever, if it brings down her vibe, that I can take it down. But she said that it's perfectly fine and that she quite likes it. So, so it's staying. I also added in a few more roads and I also created this waterfall here, which comes from a cave that I made and it goes all the way down and underneath my staircase and all the way down into the water over down here, over by the bridge. And it's just 
quite a nice wee spot. I think that it looks quite nice. And over here, I created a community chest where you can take what you need and leave what you can. The main idea is for any new people who come on the server, they can use that, they can take what they want, but really anybody, if anybody needs 27 bones, they can come over here and take the 27 bones. And you might have seen this weird ugly thing a little bit earlier in the video. And what this is, I'll go and show you. I'll, I'll show you, don't you worry about that. So if we go under here, then you can see this here. And doors just do not want to work in these versions. But it's the Skelly Farm. The issue is I couldn't figure out how to get it to actually work properly. What I find really annoying is that their hitboxes seem to be above their feet. I have to have it so open that they can hit you as well as you can hit them. Which means that you lose a good bunch of health. Which is very annoying but that's the only option that I can find. Because yeah, if I try and hit down here... It doesn't really do anything. One other issue that I found is that they like to kill each other, which means that there's only really ever one or two in here at a time, and it's just not enough to make it worthwhile, so I'm not sure what to do here, honestly. So yeah, that's what this is. This is the thing that pulls them up and drops them right down so that we can hit them. It's supposed to be a one-hit kill, but it's not. <laughs> And that's probably, I did something wrong there. Just gonna go kill this guy quickly. One more hit. Beautiful. And just so you know, and we're going to stop right at the Tree of Wisdom. That's the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Please like, please subscribe, all of that good stuff. Share it with a friend. I bet that your friend probably loves council buildings. And if your friend doesn't love council buildings, they're probably human. But please follow me on Twitch. Please join my Discord server. I've got a Discord server. Please follow it. Please join. And yeah, that's about it. I'll see you another day.